I want to go to space. What? Don't look at me. Okay, okay, fine. I guess, I guess that was pretty random of me just saying that. But, um, do you, would you like to go to space? No? Yeah, no? Hmm. What about space with me? Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. What happens if we're both, like, trapped up there in, like, a space station or something and we only have each other? To, to keep company <laughs> What would you do? Nah, I'm just joking But um Oh, space is so vast Hey, come on, I'm being serious No, I'm not gonna go on a 20 minute rant About how amazing and wonderful Space is And, 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 and stuff like that Probably just, just, just a little bit. Come on. Space is so amazing. How can anybody not wonder and, and, and be amazed and just genuinely enjoy the thoughts of going to space or anything like that? Like, it's, it's vast and, and you, it's infinite. You literally can't fathom how amazing that is because there's nothing that's infinite. Um, uh, food isn't infinite, or a specific food. Uh, chocolate isn't infinite. Now, I wish, I wish chocolate was infinite, cause I really like chocolate. I can't have that much chocolate though. It's bad for me. But I like chocolate. And if chocolate was infinite, I really wouldn't care. <clears throat> if I get sick. Mhm. Mm no, no, I'm not thinking about infinite chocolate. <laughs> I'm thinking about infinite chocolate, but 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 but, but like water isn't infinite as well. Oh, wait, water is infinite. We can literally it literally recycles itself by. But 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 if there was a post-apocalyptic thing, then because for some reason always all the apocalyptic movies there's a water shortage 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 shortage. Why couldn't I say that word? But yeah. And <laughs> In post-apocalyptic movies, everyone always fights for water. So if something like that happened, how exactly does that stop it from recycling water? Does it like... <clears throat> well, I think it's because it burns of ve vegetation. And then water can't be recycled and stuff like that. Because it needs soil, it needs trees, I'm pretty sure. And then I feel like the ocean would dry them. So I guess water isn't infinite. It's infinite now, though. But I still want infinite chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, oh! Another thing about space. I was watching this video by the Riddler or Ridder or yeah, I don't know. He has a he has a really good narrating voice. And um, if the atmosphere would disappear for five seconds, the Earth would literally split in half. Our lungs would compress. Cars would be thrown. The ocean would be out of whack, which is crazy to think about. Imagine five seconds. Now imagine a minute. Oh, we wouldn't even survive anything. We would just die. We would cease to exist. We would cease to exist. I thought I said exist, exist, exist. But I didn't. I didn't. But that's weird. So if the atmosphere also controls the water, does that mean the moon doesn't control the water? Because I know the moon controls the water. Sometimes when it's full moon, there's full tides. And when the moon is chilling, the water is chilling. Which is weird to think about. What does the moon have to do with water? Like, it's a dry-ass moon. And wait, and if our moon is the moon, why are other moons called moons? I don't... So, because if our moon is the moon, that's just the name we gave the moon. The moon. But then if you go to other planets, they would just be like surrounding planets. They wouldn't be moons because we gave our surrounding planet... The name the moon because then we're like jupiter's moon but we have the moon it's so weird to me oh ooh, i think there's this movie coming on uh coming out called moonfall which is about the moon being a spaceship for alien uh creatures or whatever like i think it was a swarm of place ow ow it was a swarm of cybernetic bugs 
and um, they have to fly into space and, and fight them, which I think this movie was inspired in the article that was released a few years ago, or maybe two years ago, I don't know, I don't really keep up with the dates, but I, I, I know this, there was this article released about how they launched rocks into the moon, straight into it, boom, and it sounded hollow, and some people in the ther theorizing uh, community or whatever, space lunatics like me, were making theories about how the moon is actually a, um, a ship covered in dust and other particles because it floated in space so long, and then once it got here, it just kind of got trapped in Earth's gravitational pull, and it's just been chilling up there. Which, I really like that theory a lot, because the moon is my comfort um, thing. I, I really like the moon. Have I said that the moon is my comfort? Yeah, I, I have said that a couple hundred times. But yeah, the moon, it would be such a cool idea, but it will also be terrifying, because we could literally get destroyed at any minute. Wow, that is, that is scary. Thing. I really like the moon. I don't know why. Like, my name is literally in the name. <laughs> oh wow! Ooh, ooh. Oh, and then and then black holes aren't really black because Steve, Stephen Hawking said so. So, hmm. And there's 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 supernovas and then there's dual uh not dwarf stars right there's dwarf stars, but then what comes from a dwarf star after it explodes? I I'm not really sure, but um. Yeah, space is so vast, but, oh, I'm fine, fine, look, I'm just gonna stop talking about all this because I'm getting way too excited, and it's gonna be more than 20 minutes, and, uh, I, I, I kinda had this plan for only two minutes, but, um, yeah, let's, let's just continue watching the show, I'm so sorry, it was such a random question.